My name is Ken Balcom. I'm the senior scientist at the Center for Whale Research in Friday Harbor, Washington, San Juan Island. I went to college in the late 50s, early 1960s, University of California. I majored in zoology. That was fascinating, the thing to do. What else you can do with your life? You know, why, be outside, study stuff? <laughs> So I got fascinated with whales, and the first job I was offered was counting whales in Puget Sound. There was a myth going around that you can't tell them apart. It's like fish in the ocean. How are you going to tell this fish from that fish, you know? The U.S. government didn't believe at the time that the science was uh, that good, that you could tell whales apart, or the photography was that good. So they hired me to see whether or not it was. This technique of photo identification had already been developed in this population by Dr. Mike Big in Canada. The technique was uh, go out in a small boat, parallel the whales, and take side view pictures. The fin and the saddle pattern on them are the identifying features. And the saddle is that gray pigment area just behind the fin on the back. It varies in shape. It's an area where scratches show up nicely. And that's how we tell them apart. Back over to this one. This is 36 years later with virtually identical photographs of the saddle pattern. The system works. It's wonderful. It's very, very handy. In the early 70s, Dr. Mike Big in Canada started at the north end of Vancouver Island, worked his way south. First group he ran into, he called A pod, and then B pod, C pod, and then down here in the south end, J pod, K pod, L pod. And each individual within the pod had a number one, two, three, four, so on, just sequentially, whoever he saw. I began the study for the U.S. government under contract on April Fool's Day, 1976. By Halloween 1976, we'd identified everybody there and concurred completely with Mike Big that uh, we knew everybody, every whale in the population. We had 70 whales, all of them we could tell apart. They're the southern resident community in JK and L pod. So if we could do that in one year and then do it the next year and see all the same individuals and do it the following year and then we'd see who's the new baby, we'd have a population of animals that we would know completely over a life cycle and answer questions that were biologically interesting. So uh, off we went and did it. That was 1976 and I'm still doing it. <laughs>